So the first exercise is product rule. Product rule is basically goes if you want to differentiate two um, expressions multiplied together like that. Obviously, you don't want to expand this out and then on top of that multiply with that to differentiate individually. So, girls, here's how you look at it. Girls, we're listening. So, girls, think of this as u and think of this term as v. Okay? So, this is what it means. So, in order to differentiate two products, that's a rule. So, and I'll explain what it means. So, my u is 2x5. So what you need to do is differentiate that, okay? If you differentiate that, that's 10x4, okay? Do the same thing with v. So let me write v out separately. And if I differentiate this from last lesson we learned the chain rule, what is it? Bring the 3 down, yeah? And then to the power of 2 times 5. Good, so my v dash is 15. 5x plus 3 to the power of 2. Okay, once you've set this up, let me write down the rule again. So y dash is equal to uv dash plus vu dash. Okay, in the textbook they swap these around, it doesn't matter as long as you have these two in, the, um, in this order. So what's my u? So I'm just following, it's just substitution girls. Okay, times, what's my v dash? Yeah? I'm just following the rule, nothing tricky about it. Okay? Plus, what's my V? That. Okay? It's, uh, it can get mixed up with this, so make sure you follow it um, carefully. And then, what's my U dash? Yeah, times 10x4. Okay? What's wrong? Girls, let me simplify this now. Um, 2 times 15 is 30 x5, 5x plus 3 squared, plus, um, see how it's just 10x4 multiplied, so just put that out in front of the bracket. Now, typically, girls, you don't just write it like this, we want to further simplify it and make it look neater. What's common between these two terms? Yeah? And so, girls, if I was to factorise it, the highest common factor would be not just 5x plus 3, but to the power of? 2, yeah, because that's the lower power of these two. Now factorize it out. I'm going to use square bracket because I've used round bracket. What goes in here? 30x5, yeah, as you can see this times that gives me that. What goes in here next? Plus 10x4 and an extra 5x plus 3 because this is the power of 3 and I really have the power of 2 outside. Yeah, does that make sense so far? Okay, once you factorize it, simplify the inside and that's going to be your final answer. So 5x plus 3 squared bracket. Um, if I expand and simplify this, girls, 30x4. That's my final answer. Okay, so let's do the same thing, girls. So this is my u. Now with this one, we want to write that v in terms of power. So it's really this that you want. Okay? So let's do the same thing. So what's my u dash here? 3. And my v dash is half outside 5 minus 2x to the power of minus half times negative 2. Yeah? Half times 2 is just gone. So it's just negative 1. Does that make sense? So this is my v dash. Okay, so let's now do the same thing. All right. I always like to write down the rules just because this type of question, it's very easy to make silly mistake. My u, my u, 3x minus 4, my v dash is that. If I multiply that with this, okay, can you see it's just going to be this? Sorry, that's a negative. Yes? Yep. Plus my V. What's my V? That. 5 minus 2x. To, I'll write the power first because I don't know what I'm getting myself into. U dash is just 3. Right. Okay. Now, um, okay, it's just 3 in front. Now, I'm going to put it back in third form. Now, 
Like I said, you don't want to leave your answer like that. You want to put as much simplified as possible. When you've got a fraction and a non-fraction, um, what you want to do is put them together. So remember, girls, this is, this is over 1 right now, isn't it? Yeah? If I want everything with this, okay, what do I need to do to this? Yeah, times the top and the bottom by the denominator, yeah? Yeah? So what does that become? Well, what's that, what's that times that? Yeah, it's just this. The square root is gone because square root times square root is just to the power of 1. And I've got this in front, so minus bracket 3x minus 4 all over that. And let's now just simplify it. Let's simplify the top. If I go straight into it, um, minus 3x minus 6x, what's that? What's minus 3 plus 19? Yep, all over 5 minus 2x. And this would be like your most simplest answer that you want to get when you differentiate that. Okay? Okay. Quotient rule. So if you've got two expressions as a fraction, so if you've got two expressions as a fraction like that, this is your u. This is your v, okay? The whole thing. So, uh, let me write it out. So u is 3x minus 5, v is equal to 5x plus 2, okay? Same thing, u dash is 3, okay? That's a dash, and v dash is 5, okay? And let's just plug it in. So let me write down the rule. So y dash is equal to v u dash minus u v dash. Okay, so, girls, um, What's my v u dash? What's my v? So this times. Girl, stay with me, please. Yep. So that's just three bracket five x plus two multiplied. It's a minus now, not a plus. Keep that in mind. Minus u v dash. So that's my u. And my v dash is five. So it's just this. Okay, and then v squared is just that whole thing squared, okay? And then, girls, don't ever expand and simplify the bottom. Leave it as that. It's the top that you need to simplify. So 15x, take away 15x, nothing. 6 um, plus 25, because minus times minus is plus. What's that? 6 plus 25? 31. Oh, okay, so it's just this. Okay, seems simple enough. Same thing, let's label my u. What's my u? 3x plus 1. Good. Now my v, I'm going to write it in terms of power because we always want the power when we differentiate. My u dash is 3. My v dash is half x plus 1 to the power of negative half times 1, but that's nothing. This, remember, is the same thing as writing this. Yeah, are you with me on that? Yes. Yep. Okay, once again, let's write down the rule because it's easy to make silly mistake on this. So, girls, let's do this. V U dash. V U dash. V U dash. Three, hi, what is it? U V dash. U V dash, so that, okay? So how would I multiply these? So how would I write it together? Yeah, now see how we're dealing with root? So I'm just going to change this into um, root as well, just to keep things consistent, okay? And there's a reason why I want to leave it like that, and you'll see soon. All over, V squared is just that squared. Yeah, it just gets rid of the square root. Yeah, squaring that. Yeah, so we actually want to put these together. All right, so it goes back to the same question as before. Okay, girls? It's all together as one. Oh my God, it's really disgusting. Right now that's over one, yeah? Yes. 
So I want both of them have a, to have a common factor of that. So what I mean by that is I want both of them to be under. Yeah, no, it will simplify well, don't worry. But let's just do the work first. All right, so that means I need to multiply this by? Yes. Yeah, so um, now this times that is just x plus 1. Good. Yeah, and then I've got 2 times 3. So it's 6 out in front. Take away. 3x plus 1. All right, let's keep going. So, girls, we have a fraction here. We're doing a fraction divided by a single term. To avoid confusion, which I did and I made a mistake, you want to make this as a fraction as well. What? Because now we're going to apply this. Oh, so it's easier. So x plus 1. <laughs> yes, yeah, so girls, let me write it in terms of power. Multiplying, what do you do with the powers when you multiply the terms? You add. So 1 plus a half. Yeah, but it goes to the bottom, doesn't it? Yeah, and then multiply these two, but we know what the top is. Oh, sorry, I forgot to write the two at the bottom as well. What's that again? 3x. Five. All right, now, yeah, you can leave your answer like that. Oh, it's actually simpler than what I taught before, but then you want to write this as a power. How do I write this as a power? Uh, oh no, so square root. Girls, top number goes where? Inside or outside? Inside. Bottom number goes? Outside. But girls, writing 2 outside of a square root is the same thing as not writing it. 